Hey, hello everyone, welcome back. So in our today's session, we'll see how to create and chat GPT Android app using Android Kotlin. So uh, here on screen, my mobile app is running, and if I open my chat GPT app, you can see this type of screen. Okay. So we are getting uh, here. So if you see, we are having a chat GPT app where you can enter something i had entered what is programming and it's giving it's returning me and some error it says you exceeded your current quota please check your bill and planning details okay so it's because uh, i had already uh, over with my trial account and now i have to pay if, if i want this functionality should to work right but otherwise all things are working here if you see i can click on delete thing to delete my chat right uh, on click of new chat i can again start a new chat uh, let's say what i can enter anything here let's say hello okay and if i send it uh, it again returns me that error because uh, again as i said my trial account has been expired so if i again go to at the left side we are having your sun icon on click of which you can just disable all the other uh, features and it will just highlight your current chat okay and then we are having a setting option at the left side and the uh, uh, github repo link on click of which you will get the source code of this project okay and then yeah so this is the chat gpt mobile app that we are having and uh, you can we can like make it work uh, as a functionality but for that we need to pay some amount to the chat gpt open ai because the backend uh, process or the apis we are using is open ai apis okay so now uh, let's move uh, let's move back to our android studio of this project what we have to do is we have to go to github and you have to search for this compass.gpt uh, kotlin android chatbot i'll give you the link of this uh, repo in a uh, uh, in a description you can uh, get back to here or from the link okay so if you see here we are having a lot of files and folders and it, uh, the last updated is five months ago right and uh, here it is the details of all the uh, project like code what it is about and here is a demo uh, thing the descript uh, the images of our project right as i shown you at the start so to set up this project onto our system we have to just uh, copy the github repo and then go to just android studio and clone it uh, into our pro android studio using this option project from version control just click on it and uh, paste the url of your github repo here and click on clone so once it's clone you can see this type of thing onto your android studio you'll get a lot of a lot of code here right now uh, in order to make it run you need a api key of open api open ai right so just search for openai.com onto the google uh, log into your account if you don't have a login and it's your first time you have to create your account so after click on login it will give you three different options first is chat gpt dali and third one is the api so we have to use the open ai api right which is the api is provided by chat gpt so just click on apis now if you see i had login with my personal account and you can just go to view api keys here and you can click on create a new a secret key uh, in order to create the api key so once it's created just copy that key and go to android studio and you have to go to app folder source folder main folder java folder and constants inside the constant you are having a file which is known as constant.kt right so inside this you will find this variable open ai api key just replace this part with your api key which you got from the open ai right so for the first time when you do this the app will be working it will return you the exact answers that chat gpt do in web panel right so it will be working as a functionality wise but uh, it will take only more uh, four to five requests from your side after that it will stop working and it will give you an error as i shown in my uh, this mobile phone okay it will give you an error that your free quota has been ex exceeded yeah so it will give you error something like this so for that you will need, need to pay some amount to the open ai api and buy that api and, and subscribe to those api then it will work fine and then you can use it inside your projects or you can also uh, uh, use it as a solo app into the play store okay yeah so that is by my that's it by my side if you have any questions you can just put the comments in the comment box and thanks for watching